I see there's obvious differences. The, the, I think this comes off a little heavier than Murder Dolls. Uh, there's definitely songs on the record that I don't think Murder Dolls would attempt or even should try to attempt, uh, for that matter. I basically, I'm, I'm just playing what I grew up on, you know. I like everything from, you know, like Alice Cooper and Motley Crue, but I also am a huge fan of the Ramones and the Sex Pistols, and I'm also a huge fan of, of you know, the er, like earlier 90s bands like White Zombie and even Pantera and bands like that. So I kind of just sort of mix that all together, you know, not on purpose. It just kind of comes out that way. I love the same fuck! A sense of humor uh, is a big part of what I do, and with the title, like Transylvania 90210, it lets you know right away that it's it requires a sense of humor to understand the theme of this record. And, uh, you know, that's just kind of, Beverly Hills 90210 is a famous show in America, and, um, you know, Transylvania 90210 is my, is my take on it, it's my, it's my world. You know, this is basically something I put a lot of work into, I put a lot of work into it, uh, you know, I, I, I put 100% in everything I do. So to, when you when you put a side project stamp on it, it almost kind of makes it seem not as of, official. Um, but but Murder Dolls had a short lifespan on the fact that it was revolved around Slipknot. This, you know, being that Murder Dolls cannot be a full-time project as long as Slipknot is a band, then I think this is just as as, as functionable as Murder Dolls. So. This will happen until Murder Dolls does another record, and then Murder Dolls will take a break, and then that'll do another thing. So it's just a, it's a constant wheel of trading things in and out, you know, and finding the balance between the two where they're not so close together. Yeah.